so this is very important state management how to handle in the class component as well as in the um, uh, function component right so back to the code first of all what is state state is a uh, it's a mode we are going to store some data there whenever we need uh, we can retrieve from there but that particular data is not persist always so user click on refresh button it will destroy so this data only available within the component we can't able to access uh, the particular state from one component to another component so that is a, that's a thing so there is uh, there is three things the first one state is a uh, store uh, which is available within the component and the second one is uh, class component have the default state but function component doesn't have this default state and the third one we can't able to access other component state from the current component okay so these are the three things about state uh, back to the slide so class uh, as i told class component have its own state but function component doesn't have so for maintaining the states in function component we need to use hook so how to use hooks for the function component first we will see the class component i close this and opening the class component as we here as we use here i just remove whatever here okay so how to use states so here we have the state uh, we have the constructor and within that we can use the state this is a default variable for all the class component this dot state and is equal to and within the object side i am going to use is logged in as we see logged in and i'm going to use as false right and put format so this is a default value this false is a uh, default value we can able to modify this thing i will tell you how to do that so as usual here i am using is logged in is logged in then true if it is true then print user log in else logged out go back to here is logged in is not defined okay yep so why because this logged in from the state so what we need to use this dot state dot is logged in go back to the other js remove other elements close it so this variable available within the state and we are storing go back to the browser it will show the logout why this logged in is false if it make it as true then it will be user logged in right but i want to make dynamically so i want to update the state how to update that right so inside that i am going to create a button uh, inside the button uh, logged in if the user clicking on the login login button then he needs to be logged in right so for the uh, button even called on click i am going to call a function uh, here what we need to call is there is a separate function to update the state is this dot set state within the state state we have the variable called logged in this logged in this logged in as true so this is the way this this is the way we need to update the state for example here the false here it is false save it go back to the browser now current the user is logged out and the user clicking on login then he will be logged in if you want to create another button for the logout then you can set as false and logout and go back here this right yeah. so if you use a click on login you will be logged in if you use a click on logout he will be logged out right but if you refresh the page that is not persist why because i already told you state the state is a local component uh, uh, the data is stored in the component itself if we refresh the page at that time it the data is not persist so that that is a problem but uh, if you want to persist the data then you need to use a api call or you need to store in the local storage but 
in the react side they provide a, a the state within the component itself you can't share the state other components as well so this is the way you need to implement other states so you can use multiple state variables you can use uh, array uh, for example users you have the users array the users empty array uh, but you want to update the users array like whenever the user whenever the user typing something and he click on update it should be updated keep on updating the users so how to do that so here for the time being i just add multiple break tags and i'm going to use input input type input type and value we don't need any value for now um, and input means we have the unchanged event and here here we need to receive the event right so within the within the bracket we can consolidate event the target value right and what are the value available here what are the value available here um, the user types something and after that he needs to it needs to automatically update it into the state and it should be uh, pushed into the users as well right so for that we need to use on blur else it will not keep on updating uh, one one by one character so on blur for that this dot set state in that users so here uh, let users is equal to uh, this will be user along with the user and uh, this given dot target dot value okay so what i will explain you what i did so i just using the on blur on blur is nothing but when the user uh keep on typing and he will go outside of the input box at that time this on blur event will trigger at that time we are capturing the data capturing the value from the input box and we are set it to the <coughs> we are creating new array variable and we are assigning it to the state right <coughs> and after that we are putting console dot log of users save it <coughs> user is not defined <coughs> users is not defined yeah so because this is a state variable right so and here is so this dot state dot users save it go back so here you can see the console uh, typing uh, john so so far there is no even fired when you click outside of that then it will start firing so here you can see the first value is updated when you go the keep on updating in the browser when you, when you go enter the text box and click outside the keep on in, keep on the blur event is keep on updating 